Happy New Year from Sarduk Edits. Hey everyone, welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create this. So let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition, I am calling it, Logo Animation, 1920 by 1080 and frame rate 60, to make the animation smoother, and duration 7 seconds long, hit OK, and let's move to the first step. Now select the ellipse tool, please note my fill is set to a solid color, and set stroke to none, and set the fill color your choice. Now go in Edit, Preferences, and Generals, and select Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layer. Now press Shift plus Ctrl to draw a small and perfect circle. And align the circle to the center. Now name the shape layer to left. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the left layer and name the top logo layer to right. Again duplicate the right logo layer, and name it up, again duplicate the up logo layer, and name it down. Now press shift and select all layers, and press P to open position. And go on 30 frames, and create a keyframe on position in all layers. Now at start of the timeline, select the left circle layer, and set the X position as shown, so that it stays outside from the frame. Now select the right layer, and set the X position value as shown. Now on the up circle layer, set the Y position like this. Again select the down circle layer, and pull it down like this. Now go on one second. Now click on small icon grid and grid options, and choose the proportional grid. Now on the left layer set position as shown, as well as set all layers position as shown. Now on one and half seconds, on the left circle layer, select the second keyframe, press Ctrl plus C to copy the keyframe, and go on 1.13 frames, and press Ctrl plus V to paste, do same on all layers. Now turn up the proportional grid. Now move to the next step. Minimize all layers, and turn on the motion blur on the shapes layer. And select all layers press U to reveal all keyframes. And select all keyframes, right click on it go to keyframes assistant, and easy ease them. Now go in the graph editor. Change the curve something like this. By the way, you can change the circle's color. Now select the down layer and duplicate it, and rename it to big one. Now select the big one layer, press U to open all keyframes. Now on the one and half second, 
delete all the keyframes on the big one layer. Now select it, press S to open scale. Now go on 1.24 frames. And create a keyframe on the scale, and set scale amount to 0%. Now go on 3.50 frames, and increase the scale amount, I set the scale amount to 2213. And change the color, I set the dark orange color. Now select this keyframes, and easy ease them. And change the graph like this. Make sure the motion blur is off on the big one circle layer, now see it looks better to me. Perfect. Now select the big one layer, and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate, and set the second big layer on the 5 frames, and change the color of the second circle layer, I set the color white. Again duplicate the second big layer, and set the third big layer on the 10 frames. I am changing the third big circle color to, dark blue color, and move to the next step, import your logo to timeline. And scale the logo if needed. And pre-compose the logo, call it logo comp and choose move all attributes into the new composition I am changing the layers color for better understanding and select the logo layer press S to open scale now go on 1.50 frames forward and set scale 0% and create a keyframe on scale and go on 2.10 frames and set the logo size to 76 and easy ease the keyframes. Now select the logo layer, press P to open position, now go on 3 points 20 frames, press shift and S to open both position and scale property. Now on the 3 point 20 frames, add the keyframe on the scale, as well as create the keyframe on position, now go 20 frames forward, and set position and scale as shown. I set the scale amount to 71%. Now easy ease the keyframes on the position. And select all keyframes, go in the graph editor, and set the graph like this. Now turn on the motion blur on the logo layer. Now create text, type your text. Change the font, as well as the color, to make the text a little attractive. Now go at 2.50 frames, select the text layer, go in effects and presets, and search for fade up words, it is a inbuilt plugin. and add to the text layer. Now press U to reveal all keyframes, now go on the first keyframe, and press P to open position, and create a keyframe on position, and pull down the text layer like this, now go a few frames forward, and set the text position below the logo. I thought it too slow, so adjust the keyframes as shown. Now see it looks good to me. Now create the shapes motion graphics, for that, create a new composition, name it shapes, and hit OK. Now select the polygon tool, please note, my fill is set to none, and stroke is set to a white solid color. Now press Ctrl plus shift and draw a perfect polygon, 
and align its center. Now select the shape layer, press P to open position, at start of the timeline, create a keyframe on position, now press S to open scale, and create a keyframe on the scale, again press R to open rotation, and create a keyframe on it. Now expand the shape layer, in contents, now in stroke 1, create a keyframe on stroke width, and minimize the shape layer, now press U to open all keyframes, and set scale 0%, now on 1 second, set stroke width to 12%, and set the scale to 100%, and set position randomly. Now go at 1.30 frames, and set stroke width to 0%, and set rotation value to 1%. Duplicate the shape layer, now go 1 second, there is our last position keyframe, and set position randomly, now expand the shape layer 2, in contents, polystar 1, polystar path 1, set points 3 to create a triangle. Again duplicate the layer, change position randomly, and change the points to a higher number, to create a circle. I am fast this process, to save a large time. and turn on the motion blur on all layers now select the second keyframes and right click on the keyframes go in keyframe assistant and easy ease and keyframes now offset the layer few frames Now create lines, turn on the title and action save, don't select any selected layer, and make straight line by using the pen tool, or rename the layer line. Now, expand the line layer, in stroke 1, set line cap to round cap. Now on the line layer, click on the small add button, and add zigzag it. In zigzag 1, set size to 10%, and set points to smooth. Again add trim paths to the line layer, make sure that trim paths are below on the zigzag. In trim paths, create a keyframe on end at start of the timeline, and set end to 0%. Now go 30 frames forward, and set end to 100%. And, on the 15 frames, create a keyframe on start, now go on 45 frames, and set start 100%. Now duplicate the line layer, press R to open rotation, and set rotation value to 180 degrees, and set position as shown. and move the second layer a few frames forward. Now go in the main composition, and import the shape composition to the timeline, and set it below from the logo layer. Now, when the logo rises up, bring the shape layer, select the shape layer, press T to open opacity and set the opacity to 75%. Now create more circles elements, Create a new composition, rename it to circles, now select the ellipse tool, make sure my fill is set to a solid color, I set the fill color to a dark orange color, and stroke is set to none, now press ctrl plus shift and draw a circle, and align the circle to the center, now expand the ellipse one, in transform ellipse one, and move the playhead at start of the timeline, 
and create a keyframe on the scale, and set scale value to 0%, now on 40 frames, and set scale 100%. Now select ellipse 1, press Ctrl plus D and duplicate the ellipse 1, now expand the ellipse 1, in transform ellipse 1, offset the keyframe by a few frames. Now select the contents, and add merge paths to the shape layer, in merge paths 1, set the mode to subtract. Now duplicate the shape layer, and set it randomly, to make it beautiful. Now make it more copies, Now pre-compose the shapes layer, to make some room. Now create circular lines, turn on the title and action safe. Now select the pen tool, make sure that fill is set to none and stroke is set to a solid color. Now press shift and draw a line. Now add trim paths to the shape layer, as start of the timeline, create a keyframe on end and set end to 0%. Now go on 30 frames, and set end to 100%. Now go on 15 frames, and create a keyframe on start. Again go on 45 frames, and set start to 100%. Now you can change the line color. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Again add repeater to the line layer, in repeater set copies to 4, and in transform of repeater 1, set position to 0%, and rotation 90 degrees. Now duplicate the shape layer. Select the pen behind tool, and move the anchor point at the start of the line, Now select the second shape layer, and press R to rotation, and set rotation to 50 degrees. Now pre-compose the shape layer, and duplicate it, and set it randomly, so it looks perfect. Now go in the main composition, and import the first circle composition to timeline, and bring the layer when the logo will rise. <laughs> 